Hello, my dear sewing friends. It's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today, like every Sunday, we are continuing our series about knit bodice block. And today, we're going to be transforming the neckline part of our bodice block. So this sort of like drapey cowl neckline has always been a thing. It's almost like a classic. And I know that a lot of people would love to learn how to do it. So today I will show you the method that I use. So go ahead, grab your knit bodice block, copy that on a fresh piece of paper, and let's get started. Now, if this is your first time that you have stumbled upon my channel or on my videos, first of all, welcome and thank you so very much. And there is an opening episode for this entire series linked in the info box below underneath this video. That opening episode will tell you everything you need to know. What kind of bodice block we're using, what are we doing, why are we doing the things that we're doing, things about seam allowances, the fabric, and everything else. So a ton of very useful information that you might need. So definitely go ahead and check out in the info box below. All right, the knit bodice block has been copied, so let's take a look at what adjustments do we need to make. Cowl necks usually feature wider necklines, so that's what we're going to do first. I'm gonna take just about one inch right over here and I'm going to redraw the neckline. I'm not really that concerned about the depth of the neckline, but I do want to point your attention towards the fact that now it is one inch wider at the shoulder seam. Once that is done, let's go ahead and cut it out. Let's go ahead and take a straight line from the bottom of the armhole to the center front of our pattern, just like so. And then for this very simplified method, I usually go ahead and divide the neckline curve approximately in half. And then from this point, I take a line down to the first one that we drafted from the bottom of the armhole. Now it doesn't have to be a straight line. It is important to remember that this method really is super simplified, pretty, pretty generic I would say, but it does give you a good result. Now this point right over here would usually be your bust apex point, but because we are working with a simplified method, this point currently on my pattern is not where my bust apex is at. But I do find that a small deviation from here when we're talking about cowl necks doesn't really matter that much. Therefore, we're just gonna go with it. Once this is done, we want to go ahead and cut it apart almost all the way through, but not quite. So that way we can actually shift the pattern pieces apart in order to create the cowl neck that we want. Here I'm gonna go ahead and take some painter's tape and the first thing that I will do, I will secure the bottom of the pattern to the new piece of paper so that way it doesn't shift around. Now I want to open up the pattern and I want to shift this part that we cut apart. Now by how much, that is a really great question. Let's go ahead and do, let's say three inches. I think three inches would be a good starting point. So this part right over here is three inches wide. Then I want to secure everything in place so it doesn't shift. Now let's go ahead and extend the center front line up. So basically you're just extending that line all the way up. Now from the shoulder point, you want to take a straight perpendicular line all the way to that new center front line that we just extended. And this corner right over here, this angle has to be a right angle, so 90 degrees. One last step and we will be done. Now go ahead and take an extra piece of paper and place it on top of your existing pattern. And we're going to copy a part of the neckline. So from the top down, I'm gonna take about two inches. And you can take any measurements that you would like. It just depends on how big of a facing you want to create for your cowl neck. So I'll take two inches here, then I'm going to outline the top. And I'm going to take about one inch on the shoulder seam. And once that is done, I'm going to connect it all with a really nice, smooth, curved line. Then let's go ahead and cut this piece out. Once you have cut it out, place it on top of your pattern piece and that is going to be the facing. And that's it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some practice fabric and we'll see how this cowl neck actually looks when it's placed on the dress form. 
Now here's an extra tip. When you're working with a design that involves draping, I urge you to think about what kind of fabric you're going to use for this particular garment. You want something that drapes and falls beautifully, maybe something that has a little bit of extra weight, maybe a little bit thicker than just a super thin jersey, maybe something that's not too thin depending on what kind of design you're going for which season, what kind of final garment you have envisioned in your mind. So definitely take all of those things into account the volume of the actual cowl neckline and things like that so just an extra tip to think about before you actually proceed to your garment here I'm working with quite thin jersey knit probably something that is a little bit lighter than I would actually use if I was making a garment as always you're gonna fold your fabric you're gonna place your pattern piece on the fold and we're cutting out our front pattern piece now when you're cutting out your back pattern piece don't forget that we adjusted the shoulder part here you can see the new pattern piece on top of the old pattern piece and you can clearly see that the shoulder is one inch less than the original piece and in order to be able to construct this pattern the easiest way I would suggest for you to actually make a facing for the back pattern piece so instead of making Making a neck band or using some other finish go ahead and make a facing and once that is done let's go ahead and put this together the first thing that I will do I will go ahead and attach the back facing to the back pattern piece so you're gonna go ahead place them right sides together and since this is not my actual garment this is just a muslin for you guys to see how this pattern adjustment actually looks like I'm gonna use white serger thread so we see how this all comes together now for this next step I'm gonna go ahead and serge the top of the front pattern piece the facing part now you don't have to do that especially if your knit does not unravel but in this case I just want you to see how it looks because that white thread makes it pop so it makes it easier for us to see what goes where my back pattern piece here is right side up and I'm gonna go ahead and take my front pattern piece and I'm gonna place it right sides together with the back pattern piece and because we created the facing for our back pattern piece see how well they actually match now so we've put shoulder seam to shoulder seam facing to facing and you see how well they both match it makes it really easy to assemble this pattern so let's go ahead and sew the shoulder seams on both sides and then the side seams as well after that we will be ready to put this on the dress form and see how it looks and here it is let me give you a couple of different angles so that way you can see a little bit better obviously this is just a test garment therefore you will be making yours with sleeves or maybe sleeveless maybe make it into a dress from a previous net bodice block tutorial now here I want to show you how the inside would look like so here's that surged edge of the front pattern piece the top of it the facing piece right and here you see that I did fold it in so that way we don't see it and on this side here is the facing of the back pattern piece and if I was actually sewing this garment I would secure the facing pieces to the shoulder seam so that way they don't flop around but all in all I'm really happy now mine was opened by three inches therefore as you saw it gave us really nice soft drape at the neckline I'm not a fan of really huge cowl necks now if you would like to have bigger cowl neck you can of course open up this part by a lot more and if you are a member of this channel first of all thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I appreciate every single one of you and as a big thank you for your support you will have instruction sheets for this project and many others as well as members extra video where we dive a little bit deeper into this topic and I also wanted to give you this little sketch to download so that way you can color it in maybe get some ideas on the paper think bright colors or maybe something more muted think about about events where you can apply this cowl neck structure maybe you will make it into a dress maybe a long sleeve sweater maybe into a tunic so many possibilities and I truly hope that you open that door to creativity you take this idea and you make something beautiful for yourself if you want to see the rest of the episodes of this series click right over here and I will see you next Sunday for another episode of Knit Bodice Block. Thank you so much. Until next time, happy, thoughtful and creative sewing. Bye.